Sonia, this one's near and dear to all of our hearts and it's homework. Mm -hmm. A lot of mums wonder how involved they should become when they're actually doing homework with their children, whether they should let them be or whether they should help out. Other mums also wonder whether their kids are actually getting too much homework. And if they do think they're getting too much homework, whether they've got a right to go and talk to the teacher about it. What do you think, Sonia? Homework's a real challenge. I'm a mum. I deal with homework every day. The different departments of education around Australia do publish guidelines for homework. And it's important that we as parents are aware of what's appropriate for our children's stage of development and the year that they're in. So for most young children, most systems are recommending about 10 minutes of reading for younger children. So from the, young, the first year of school through to about year two, 10 minutes of reading a night and maybe 10 to 15 minutes of other revisionary kind of homework, whether it be doing some sentences or some small maths questions, some revision of some spelling, things like that. As children grow older, the expectation for homework can can grow a little more. So when children are in about year four or year five, we're probably doing maybe between half an hour and an hour of homework a night. And then of course, as we move forward, we're moving through to high school. The expectation is around about 90 minutes a day for children in year seven and year eight. The challenge for lots of families though, is that that's a really nice kind of average ballpark figure, but for some children it takes them a lot longer to complete the homework that's being set by the classroom teacher. And so if your child is struggling or if you feel that there is an onerous amount of homework going on, it's really important for mums and dads to actually have a look at what's coming home, look at the quality of what's coming home and perhaps have a conversation with the classroom teacher about what they're observing with their child. It's important when we're talking to classroom teachers that we talk about observable behaviours. So what are the things that we saw our child doing? So if our child gets very upset, if it takes our child 45 minutes to complete a set, set of maths mentals, well that's too long. There's something going on for that child and maybe there is some support that we can give them in the classroom to make sure that the child is able to do the homework or have the homework modified. Teachers are not mind readers. They don't know that a child is struggling with homework unless mums and dads let them know. So it's important in the interests of the child to have that conversation with the teacher. Again, doing it privately, doing it in a prepared way. So making an appointment, going and talking to the teacher rather than door stopping them at the end of the day. So that you can talk clearly about what's going on and how it can best be remedied. Um, for some families, homework is something that they don't agree with. And schools need to respect that. And so again, it's about having a conversation with the school about this is our philosophy about homework. We hope that you understand how we feel. Can you perhaps suggest some other ways in which we can enhance or encourage or consolidate our child's learning while not necessarily subscribing to, you know, the, the maths mentals and the other bits and pieces that go on. Most teachers are very respectful of that, depending on the school system that you're in. But you do have a right as a parent to make a decision about what you think is best for your child and to ensure that their social and emotional needs are being met as well as their learning needs. That's fantastic, Sonia. Thank you very much. Pleasure.